What up guys, back again with another product review. And today I got Buff Bakes uh, Protein Cookie. And this is the uh, white chocolate peanut butter flavor. Looks pretty good here on the packaging, brand new. Well, that's what it says here. This is not really like a new product. Um, soft bake, gluten free, non-GMO, and 12 grams of fiber. And of course, 16 grams of protein. Go ahead and check out the macros here in the back. So it says right here, hormone free whey, uh, whey protein, gluten free, non-GMO, high in fiber, no sugar alcohol, soft baked, no trans fats, and it says microwave for 10 seconds for a fresh out of the oven taste. So actually I might do that later. Just a little like half a piece or something like that. Let's see how it tastes like. Um, nutritional facts here. So for the whole cookie, you get 320 calories. You get 130 calories from fat, so that, that's kind of a lot right there, but I mean, it's probably because of the peanut butter and stuff. Um, 14 grams of fat, 6 saturated, no trans fats, 55 milligrams cholesterol. <clears throat> you got 37 carbs. You got 12 grams of fiber and 17 grams of sugar. So I'm expecting this to taste good because that's a lot of sugar. So if you got that much sugar, you know, it's got, it's got to be, you know, tasty. So the net carbs on this is like 25 grams, which isn't that good, but fuck it, let's see how it tastes. Um, let's try to look at the ingredient in this here. So main source of protein is obviously whey protein, uh, whey protein concentrate being the first ingredient in here. And then followed by, you know, the fiber and the sweetener and, and the rest of the cookie pretty much. And yeah, all you really got is whey protein concentrate though as the only uh, protein source besides probably like, you know, the peanuts and stuff. So, go ahead and open this up. See how, see how it tastes. So I'm pretty hungry right now, so this is like the perfect time to eat this shit right now. Alright, so I'm opening it up and it smells... It smells like a little like peanut butter type of smell. It smells alright. What we're looking at right here. Let's go ahead and just take it off the wrapper. Let it see better, maybe. There you go. That's that's pretty pretty good look. It looks like it has like almost kind of like some honey on the top. You guys see that? Looks pretty good. Oh, I got some fly or some shit trying to get in my food. But that that's my shit. So yeah, it looks pretty good. You got some chips, uh, some uh, white chocolate chip action going on. There's the peanut butter and stuff. Pretty good size. Let's go ahead and take a bite of this shit because I'm hungry. Hmm. All right, all right. Hmm. Chewy. Hmm. You can definitely tell it has like some fiber in it because you know it's pretty chewy and it's like dense. Mm. Flavor like the peanut butter flavor doesn't seem that strong. Take another bite here. Hmm. The taste isn't bad. Mmm. Drink some water. Mm. Like I said, I'm a little hungry, so uh probably gonna eat like half of this shit before the review's over. Take another bite here. Hmm. I don't really see any peanuts. It seems like a very mild taste. Hmm. So it has like a mild taste to it. Not like super peanut buttery or anything like that. Kind of tastes mild. But it doesn't taste bad. It tastes kind of like a... I want to say, pretty much it tastes kind of like a healthier cookie. 
doesn't give you it doesn't taste like that super like bomb chocolate chip type of cookie or something like that like some subway type of cookie uh so it does taste healthy um like i said it's it's, it's dense but it's also pretty soft um got another bite here yeah it has like a brownie type of texture to it also And the peanut butter flavor is just very mild. We look at the ingredient list. I mean, it goes with the fiber, tapioca fiber. Then it goes white chocolate chips, non-fat dry milk. And later on, you see like honey and peanut and stuff like that. To me, the peanut butter flavor doesn't seem to doesn't seem that strong. Um, so I mean, this ain't like the best cookie or whatever that I've tried as far as like a peanut butter flavor. I, I've tried some that are like really like peanut buttery. And it tastes like really good, like right off the bat. Uh, for this one, I think it's mild. I think it's okay. It's good, but it's okay, you know. It's not like anything that really stands out. The white chocolate chips are, are nice. Um, but I don't think it gives it like that much more flavor. So I'm just going to say it's kind of mild. So I'll give this a solid rating. Let's give it like a uh, an 8 out of 10, guys. It's 8 out of 10. I, I'm not going to give it like a 7 or something like that. Because, I mean, it's not that bad. So... I think 8 out of 10 is a good rating. It's solid. It tastes, you know, it tastes good. It's eatable. It's not nasty. Um, like I said, it just doesn't have a lot of flavor. So be prepared for that. Um, it's, it's just very mild. Not a strong flavor on it. And, uh, I mean, it has like a brownie-like texture, a little dense. It's soft, though. It's not like a hella hard cookie or anything like that. Um, so, yeah, overall, I think, I think it's solid. So I'll give it an 8 out of 10, guys. Not the best cookie ever, but not bad. So, would I buy it again? I don't know. Maybe if I if I catch them on sale, I might I might buy a tall pack. But yeah, it's it's good. So yeah, eight out of ten, guys. That's gonna be it for the review. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Uh, post some comments below if you have any questions about the product or something. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for the review. Subscribe for more videos, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.